Welcome to the Solid Cam University channel. This video's topic is programming a family of parts or using the save as change model reference procedure. Um, so the purpose of this video is pretty much to highlight the kind of change model reference procedure that you might have heard from, from some of us on the tech support team. Uh, the video is really just gonna be a step-by-step -step on how to actually achieve that. Um, Programming a family of parts, you could use configurations from SOLIDWORKS like you've seen in some of the other videos on this YouTube channel. But say the case is that the parts are not actually configurations. They're maybe completely different from each other and there are family of parts in that maybe they are just inserts for a machine or uh, there really is no geometric similarities between them, just enough that you would program them the same way. So you wanna use the same tool path, but the geometry is not the same. Uh, also, in addition to that, the, the use of the change model reference allows you to actually create, um, you can think of them as templates across Mac positions. Because if you've ever created a template, like you've seen in some of the previous videos, you can't actually create them across Mac positions. You'll have to create a template for a singular Mac position. Here, I'm actually going to copy all um, seven of these toolpaths to another part that I'd like to program as well. So let's see how that works. So. We'll begin by doing a save of this file. So if I right click on Campart, click Save As, what I'm doing is basically saving this exactly as is. But what I want to do is call it, let's say the next part number or the next name of the part in the family of parts. So I'm just going to call this family of parts dash one. So doing a save as means I'm going to close the current one down, the current solid cam external file down and open up the copy that I've created with the new name. So you'll see it has the new name there and there. So now we have a new name, but everything has been copied. The geometry has been copied and the toolpath has been copied. Now, step two is I'll go to right click on cam part and click on change model reference. What the change model reference does is it assigns a new uh, folder address to a new part, meaning that this was the address, the folder location of the part we were just working on, the one we see on screen right now. But if I go to browse, I can browse for um, you know, part dash one of, in this family of, ser of, uh, of parts. So now I'll click on open and click OK. And what that does is SolidCam recognizes that I've changed the model itself. So the design model has been replaced. So this is the associativity taking, taking place here. I'll click yes, and it's going to blink a couple of times, change all the different definitions and all that kind of stuff to match the new model. Okay, and if we take a look at that, we're looking at the next part in the series. So if this was some sort of mold insert, it now has a completely different shape to it. Um, the holes happen to be seen in, in, happen to be in the same spot, so that's why they're actually um, okay. Uh, because I probably programmed this the same way. The names of those faces and all that are the same, so that carried over. But you'll see the 3D eye machining. It looks like it needs to be recalculated. Well, again, it's just like always. I'll just right-click, synchronize, and calculate and calculate for the new part. Now, obviously these are very simplistic versions of how this would work, but the overall uh, intent is the same. If I'd like to save my tool selections, my feeds and my speeds, uh, my order of operations, any kind of fixtures or anything like that, if there's any similarities, I'd like to copy from one family of parts to another family of parts, one part in that family to another part in that family, I've done so here doing a save as and a change model reference. If you need any further help with this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. If you'd like to send us your parts or your questions via uh, uh, an, an email, you can use the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com or watch the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel for more help. Thanks for watching.